Your Honor, the first thing that I think that I need to tell you is that I love my son more than my own life. And I guess that it takes becoming a mother to make you really understand how close you can become to another human being. To know that they were once a part of your body and that they are always going to be a part of your life. When Tyler got sick, and he had to be taken to the hospital. And I almost lost him. I realized that I can't imagine my life without him. He needs me. He knows my touch and he knows my voice. He needs to know that I'm always gonna be there for him. When I walk into a room and his face lights up, it's like the sun is shining. What is he gonna think if suddenly I'm not there anymore? Who can ever explain that to him? I'm begging you, Your Honor. I would do anything for my son. And I need him as much as he needs me. Please do not take him away from me because I could not bear it. Thank you, Mrs. Alden. Mr. Sutter. Thank you, Your Honor. That was a lovely speech. Very moving, and very heartfelt. What I found particularly illuminating was Mrs. Alden expressing her devotion to her son, characterizing herself as a loving and dependable mother. However, what was most telling was what this dedicated young woman didn't say, but left for us to see for ourselves, indeed even flaunted before this court, the fact that at this very moment she happens to be sitting in front of her lover, the same man she shares her bed with, even though she's married to Cooper Alden. This young woman has flagrantly abused the honorable state of marriage, and as if adultery wasn't enough, this is also a case of marital fraud. Cooper Alden married for love and in good faith. Alison Rescott did not. She never loved Cooper. She did, however, love his money. And that, and only that, is why she married him. talk to you for a minute. Casey, I've got to be over the house in 30 minutes. I understand. I, I just, I needed to ask you. I need your help. With what? Allie. Allie. Yeah. See, see, if Trisha were still alive, I'd have gone to her. She would have understood. So now I've got to, I need to ask you to help me. Please. to go to. It's about the custody suit for Tyler, isn't it? Yeah. Look, Casey, I, I don't know what I can do for you. I hardly know Allie, and I wasn't present at the hearing. Well, you do know what it's like to lose a child. Casey, Trisha died. Tyler... Uh, Tyler has been ripped away from his mother. Allie might never see him again. I'm sorry. She's, she's going to have to talk to Cooper. No, she tried. She tried to talk to him. She begged to see her son, but the door at the Alden Mansion was slammed in her face. All right. I'll try to talk to Esther. Oh, no, listen, that won't work. It won't work. Look, you're on your way over there right now, right? Yes, I am. Could you please bring Tyler out to the gazebo? No, I can't Mrs. Do Alden, that. please. Allie, she just, she needs to hold him. Just for a minute. Fifteen minutes, and I promise, I promise, he will be back in his nursery. Yes, you'll be here. Do you want to leave? Do you think Gwen's going to show up with the baby? I, I don't know. I can't believe you asked. So I'm out of control. I just, I thought it was crazy enough it just might work. 
piece of bone and out of control. It's all my fault. I've done nothing but trust No, come on, Hayes. You know better than that. No, the only thing I know is that everything has gone to hell, and it's all my fault. Ever since you met me, Casey. Hmm. Ever since I met you, I've been madly in love with you. And when you love someone, you roll with the punches and you come up begging for more. Right? shopping right now and Cooper is with the attorney. Okay. I will be back here in 15 minutes for time. All right. Go in. Thank you. 